30 years in prison. That's a sentence for the man who claimed he was high on marijuana edibles when he killed his wife. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez was in the courtroom for Richard Kirk's sentencing. This is the maximum Lance he could have gotten under a plea agreement. Now, a plea bargain that surprised the judge. Richard Kirk was originally charged with first-degree murder, but he pleaded guilty to second-degree murder to keep three boys from having to testify. For the past three full years, our family has been consumed with this tragedy. We are relieved that this chapter is over and that we can finally cut ties with the person who committed this crime. Christine Kirk's family is ready to move on. They're still dealing with the shock of learning that their loved one was killed by her husband in a quiet Denver neighborhood. They say they're doing the best they can to raise the couple's three boys. When Richard Kirk spoke before the court, the victim's family stepped outside. really didn't want to hear what he had to say. It's there was nothing he could say that would leave or take our pain away. And we just didn't want to hear it. Richard Kirk says his heart is completely broken for causing so much heartache and pain. He says he unknowingly killed his wife and attributes what happened to the marijuana edibles. The victim's family questions that. Yes, it may have contributed, but, you know, we don't, we don't have an answer for that. We do find it confusing that the legislature, there are no controls, there's no rules, there's no laws. Um, it, it's, we're disappointed. The judge accepted the plea bargain. Family members didn't want to put the boys through a lengthy trial. Tomorrow is April 8th. It would be Chris's 47th birthday tomorrow. As we have since 2014, we will do a balloon release in memory and in celebration of her. And we just ask everybody that has been touched by our story to please remember Chris and send a prayer to heaven. Now, it's unlikely that Kirk will spend all 30 years behind bars. That's why Christine's family asked for a protection order barring him from contacting the boys. Back to you.